Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and this is a space designed for fishies. Specifically, not only, but specifically. So yeah, welcome. This is my new setting and my new office. I'm still kind of, you know, getting settled. Um, but it's looking nice. I, I really enjoy it. I hope you guys like it too. All right, Pisces, universe, what are the most relevant and important messages for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know or could benefit from knowing about their present and future? Let's see. Hmm, should I do a Celtic cross? Should I do the jumping cards? I'm gonna do the jumping cards. No, I'm gonna do the Celtic cross. <laughs> Upright cards only. All right, so we got the hangman first card showing up here. Pisces, there may be some things that you feel are up in the air at this time. You may feel like some little details here and there are not defined. For others of you, there's no little about this situation, um, the little aspect of the situation, because what you feel is up in the air is actually quite important. Some of you may be dealing with other Pisces. You may be very well in that Pisces energy whatever that means to you, very intuitive, very emotional. Some of you are evaluating possibilities, thinking about two options, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, um, about where, you know, is something good for you? Is something appropriate for you? Is this the best or is that the best? Should I be making a decision right now? Should I wait? There's a lot of back and forth here. I feel like it's internal, but for some of you, it could actually be with another person. Maybe it is including another person, but it's not necessarily something that is defined by another person besides you. This is going to have something to do with money or resources, because in the near future, we got the Four of Pentacles. So it seems here like you are trying to hold on to your pentacles, trying to save, trying to maximize um, how the resources can bring in more resources for you. So investments, interests, you know, things like that. Some of you though are having so much attention on keeping what you have that you have your hands full and an opportunity may be arising and you may not be able to pick it up. As you see here in the car, it's like his hands are full. But there's a little key here that will open the door, but he can't get the key because he's so, you know, full of <laughs> everything he's holding on to. So there could be something that you need to invest in, okay? There could be something that would represent some resources going away or, you know, investing some of your resources, time, energy, money. But that will definitely bring in kind of like a return that is very liberating for you. So that's maybe what you're con contemplating, perhaps. Um, the thing is, right now, there are structures that are being rebuilt. There are things in your life that simply weren't working out or could work out better. And it seems like spirit is just letting whatever wasn't ideal crumble so that, you know, spirit can bring into your life something better. Some of you are very impulsive, <laughs> very confident, very certain sometimes, spontaneous about your decisions. And sometimes your decisions are amazing, <laughs> your choices are great, and sometimes they're not, okay? And this has a lot to do with that impulsivity. Sometimes you think about things and you go ahead and take action and it works. Sometimes you don't think about things and you get kind of like lucky, um, lucky breaks. And you think that if you just jump into anything all the time that it always will go right, but sometimes it does not, okay? 
And spirit is basically getting you out of getting you out of that. And you have a choice. You can either go, you know, fall from the tower in surrender and certainty that spirit has you back, or in anxiety and fear. Wow, some of you are seriously not moving. Knight of Discs, the Hangman, and the Two of Swords. You're standing still. Some of you are afraid to move. You're afraid to make any decision at all. Maybe you feel very... Some of you kind of traumatized by how maybe decisions in your past led you to experiences that you don't want to live again. And some of you are just like, I'm just going to be here. <laughs> I'm just going to be here and I'm going to let the universe, you know, do its thing. I am too afraid to make a choice. I'm too afraid to choose wrong. So maybe you're really holding on to everything that you have and saying, you know what? This is enough. I'm good. I don't need to pursue anything else. I want to be safe. But spirit seems to want you to know or learn that you can be safe and be in movement. Some of you could be experiencing PTSD at this time or a lot of anxiety or complex PTSD for some of you. I am not, of course, any kind of um, psychiatrist or psychologist. I am a parapsychologist, but I'm not a psychologist. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. In the recent past, you have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Maybe you were, you know, a little naive. Maybe you were very curious, very optimistic, and you made a choice impulsively that led to something that wasn't all that pretty. Okay. But there is a door here that you get to cross if you choose. You, continue, you can choose to continue to move forward. But some of you may not be ready for that, and that's okay. I'm getting here with the star card that your prayers and your wishes are being fulfilled. What happened wasn't only a, con a consequence of your decision, okay? So if you made that impulsive decision, or if you made a very optimistic, kind of naive decision, and it led you to a place of being stuck or, you know, a tower moment. Spirit is saying, yes, there was a component of learning that needed to happen there for you. But it wasn't only that. Like, there were other factors as well. So don't blame yourself completely. <laughs> because there were other things that needed to fall into place that had nothing to do with you, really. Okay? And Spirit is trying to almost show to you, I do have your back. Pray, ask, and I listen. So at this time, Pisces, it would be great to do anything and everything that can help you trust in spirit again. To trust and sort of like build that, yeah, build that trust again. Because some of you are like, why on earth did spirit let me take that choice if it led to a fucking mess? <laughs> Part of my French. But there's a reason behind things. So right now, you'll see that all the little things that you asked spirit will come to you. And it's almost as if spirit is saying, see, I am here for you. So you can, you know, take advantage of that, I guess. Like, ask for the things that you want. Ask for the things that you need. Because you are being heard and spirit wants you to see that you are being heard. Now, in your environment, you may have a Libra, who's an important person in your life. You may have a lot of comfort, physical comfort. Um, your home situation may be very comfortable, luxurious for some of you. You may have a lot of abundance around you. You may have a very abundant Libra around you or a very abundant person around you. Family, perhaps. Some of you have a lot of nature. <laughs> around and you may feel like you can start to move into an energy of receptivity more than action. 
Some of you, in your hopes and fears, you got the Knight of Wands, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you want to go all in into something. You love that spontaneity of yours. You want to continue being fiery and intuitive and impulsive. But maybe you're getting a little bit of an awareness that taking your brain with you never hurts. <laughs> Some of you may have hopes about maybe establishing a connection, relationship, job connection with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there may be some fears involved as well. This person could be one of those people who as quickly as they come in, they come out, okay? So it's like they're in your life for a second, you think they're going to stay, and just like that, they're gone. You don't see them anymore. It's like someone who's very flighty. I get the sense that you are reaching a point of maturity, a point in which you are sustainable, you're capable of sustaining the lifestyle that you want to have. And I, I specifically talk about lifestyle because of this Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. So this is like harmony in your surroundings. This is having an abundant energy within and around and above and below. <laughs> it's like a very feminine, very... How can I explain these two together the best way? It's like safe. Safe, but like in a way that you're being protected and taken care of and not only you are taking care of yourself, but everything is. It's like nature is taking care of yourself. God is taking care of you. I don't know, everything. Everything flowing. You're reaching a sp uh, spot in your life, a moment in your life in which that maturity of knowing when to jump and when not to, being aware that jumping sometimes brings amazing things, but sometimes it doesn't. You know, having all of that awareness. It's like... oh. Not overcoming. Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Transcending duality. It's like all the lines get blurred. And the more blurred it is, somehow the most intuitive, intuitively connected you are. Everything is relative. And you start to notice that everything is relative you know, times 10. <laughs> and the more you see that nothing is solid, the more you get closer to spirit. So it's, it's like the more you walk on your path, you know, you're not, you're no longer able to say, this is good, this is bad. This is the way to do it, this is not. And instead, you walk more and more towards, well, it depends. <laughs> Everything depends. And the more or the less structured you are in your thinking in that sense, it seems like you get closer to that endless, infinite, shapeless energy of the divine. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> makes sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> so, yes, Pisces. I feel like you're headed in a wonderful direction. Don't be scared to move forward, but also if you need a moment to process something that you've already been through, if you need a moment before moving forward, that's fine. Take your time. But just know that Spirit is here for you and that your prayers are being heard, okay? That this wasn't a mistake, whatever happened wasn't an error. There were a lot of things about that experience that maybe you're not entirely conscious of that will serve you tons. Pisces, in the description box below, you will find a link for the manifestation sessions. You will be able to see, you know, everything, booking, you can book your session, your schedules, the hours available, the pricing, everything. And basically they consist of first, Kind of like me interviewing you a little bit. I just want to know all the details about what is it that you want to manifest. 
see if there's any obvious blockages there that we can resolve together. And in my time, according to, you know, in alignment to the moon phases and all of the energies that I find relevant, I'm going to be doing what I find relevant <laughs> to help you boost the energy of that manifestation, of that possibility through candle magic and herbs and crystals and oils and, you know, all sorts of manifestation techniques so that together we can bring that into your life. Of course, if it, if it applies, if it is meant to. Some things are just not for you, no matter what you do. And other things are for you, no matter what you don't do. <laughs> so, you know, parting from that understanding, I love to extend that invitation for the manifestation sessions. If you guys would like to actively um, create your desires in your life and all of that areas that are negotiable with spirit. Because some, some areas are not negotiable. There are some experiences that are not negotiable, as mentioned. But a very, very large percentage of life, we get to choose how to manifest and how to live, okay? And that's where I come in, to remind you of your own magic. All right, Pisces, I'll see you in the next reading. I love you. Bye.